So do you have a dream? Do you have a dream? If not, why not? Don't ever think you're too old or too young to have a dream. And don't ever think your dreams are impossible. Because they're not. My mother raised six children, of whom, which I am the oldest, on welfare. My mother and my father only went as far as, the, as high school, uh, 12th grade. All the st statistics, statistics say that the children will never go higher than their parents. And I'm not going to tell you what I'm about to tell you for any reason other than to tell you don't ever think your dreams are too lofty. This, and I'm not only with that, but I also dropped out of high school at the end of the 10th grade to get married. And I had three children by the time I was 21. And now I have four degrees. So don't ever tell you, let anyone, don't let anyone tell you that you cannot see the manifestation of your dreams because I can tell you, yes, you can if you want it badly enough to do what it takes to get it. Do you have a dream? Why not? If you don't have a dream, listen to this. You are denying the divine, you're denying the spirit, a fuller expression in you and as you and through you. It's not just your dream you're squelching, it's God's dream of itself through you. If you have a dream, do you have a dream? If you don't have, if you do have a dream, what are you doing to see it manifest? What are you doing? Some of us say, well, I have these great dreams, but I don't see how they can come, come true. I, don't, I just don't see how my dream can ever manifest. Well, you don't have to know the how. That's the one thing we teach in Science of Mind that most of us have a lot of difficulty with, and that is to forget about the how. That's none of your business. You just keep your eye on the dream, and this is how you see your dream manifest. First of all, you've got to be clear. One of the things that I've learned in the last few years is that I am sometimes not real clear about what it is that I want. I have so many things I want that I'm not real clear about what it is that I really want. And so you have to spend some time getting clear about what it is that you really want. And if you, what you really want is to spend your day meditating, then that's fine and dandy. Do it. But be clear that's what you want. And then focus only on what it is that you want. Don't let anything rob you of your focus. And does that mean you sit all day and you look at this word, or you look at these pictures, or whatever it is that you do that reminds you of what it is that you want? No, it isn't. But you don't focus on, oh, I can never have that. If you have a dream and you once in a while you think, oh, no, that's not. Stop. And if you have to, stop your foot. Stop. And refocus. Refocus. There was a, a man named Jeffrey Schwartz who works with uh, people who have obsessive compulsive behavior. And they, they, they've got to wash their hands or do something. All the time, practically. They spend almost all their days doing whatever it is that they're obsessive compulsive about. And he has taught them how to stop that by refocusing. And if he can stop someone who can't stop washing their hands all day long to stop washing their hands all day long, you can stop yourself from thinking you cannot see your dream manifest by refocusing. Focus only on what you want and then listen to your inner God. Listen to your inner guide. We all have that guide within. It says, some of us is a quiet voice and we can really easily push it aside. And some of us is like a huge siren. But we all have it, so listen to it. It will tell you. It will let you know exactly what your dream is. It will let you know without a shadow of a doubt that what you're dreaming is really a dream and not just a <clears throat> fantasy. 
and then we'll teach you what it is that you need to do to see your dream to fulfillment. And then take action. Your inner guide will tell you what action you need to take. Heed it and take the action. And it may be something so simple as just looking for pictures in magazines about what it is that you want. It, I, I don't know what action you need to take. Only you and your inner guide are going to know, but take it. Release it. Here's the surrender part. Here's that part that we all have so much trouble with. Release it without attachment. Release it and think, don't try to make it happen. Just release it. These are the steps, and I've written them out for you. If you're interested, you can pick one up after the service as a reminder to take home with you. Be clear. Focus only on what you want. Listen to your inner guide. Take the action that your inner guide indicates and release without attachment. Once more, my favorite. There are those who look at things the way they are and as crying. I dream things that never were, and that's why not. Your dreams, your wishes, your desires, those are all life responding to life. It's life, it's God, it's spirit wanting a greater experience through you. It's God dreaming of itself through you. What I want you to remember today is get to know your dreams and then let them out. Don't squelch them any longer. And if you need help discovering what your dreams are, because some of us get kind of muddled, and we need help, then you know who to call. 